Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in JE Advanced Paper 2 Physics in the year 2019. The question was from the topic of uh, YDSE. Uh, a fairly simple question. Most of the students would have been thrilled to solve this, uh, would have collected free marks. Uh, the question was on the scheme of you know, multiple choice correct. Uh, but one particular thing, uh, this question had only one correct answer, one particular option correct. And so this uh, disturbed some of the students. You know, as I was talking to some of the students after the exam and they said that in how can multiple choice question uh, can have single option correct. So let's understand that it's not more than one correct. It's one or more than one correct. So of course, you can always have one option correct in one or more than one correct so you know kuch bachcho ke sath aisa hota hai ki if mcqs mein one or more than correct mein unka ek hi option sahi aa raha hai so they become you know they come into panic state to aisa nahi hona chahiye if you are confident enough just do it and move on to the next question coming back to this question is question mein uh, light is coming at an angle alpha so we will have different different values of alpha uh, in a YDSE setup and a point P is chosen at a distance of 11 millimeters from the center of the screen. There are two slits which have a separation of uh, 0.3 mm and the distance between the slit plane and the screen is 1 meters. Uh, wavelength of the light has been given as 600 nanometers. So based upon different values of alpha and uh, you know uh, like uh, we have to comment whether the uh, there will be destructive or constructive interference. Now the question is pretty simple. Uh, let's call this slit as S1 and let's call this slit as S2. So if you see carefully, uh, these two points are lying at a wave front, so they will have the same phase. So we can say that this is the path difference between the ray, between these two rays up till they reach this plane of the slit. Okay, that means this is the path difference up till they reach the plane of the slit. Now this angle is alpha, so this angle will also be alpha which means this angle will be now this is alpha so this we can say is 90 so this angle will be 90 minus alpha right so this distance will be d cosine of 90 minus alpha which means this is d sine alpha because this angle is 90 minus alpha this is 90 minus alpha so this will be d cosine of 90 minus alpha that means d sine alpha so we can say that this distance is d sine alpha and if you find s2p minus s1p s2p minus s1p so we know that this is d let's if, if, if we call this angle as theta so this will be d sine theta path difference we know this from the uh, ydse result so this distance will be d sine theta okay uh, and since this theta is small because this is very very small 11 millimeters so we can say that and this is 1000 millimeters so theta will be small so we can write this as tan theta if the need be and tan theta we can write as y by d so this is d y by capital d so total path difference total path difference delta x total path difference will be this d sine alpha plus d y by d this is the total path difference correct now if you go back to the options if alpha is zero there will be constructive interference at point p so if alpha is zero then that means both these rays were coming parallel so this will anyway become zero and we have to talk about point p so if you calculate this path difference for alpha equals to 0, so this D has been given as 0.3 mm, 0.3 mm. So let's convert this into meters. So we'll multiply this by 10 to the power minus 3. Y is 11 mm. This is Y. So 11 mm. So 11 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by uh, 1. Correct. So this becomes 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power minus 6 or we can say that this will become 3300 nanometers right 3300 nanometers now if you see the wavelength of the light it is 600 nanometers so which is nothing but 5.5 .5 lambda right which means that this is a destructive interference because this is 5 plus lambda by 5 lambda plus lambda by 2 which means it's a destructive interference so of course option a is wrong if you talk about option B, uh, for alpha equals to 0.36 by pi degrees, uh, there will be destructive interference at point P. So we have to talk about uh, again the interference pattern at point P. Uh, 
the type of interference at point P for the alpha for alpha equals to 0.36 by pi degree. Now you can see that again this is a very small angle because we are talking about 0.36 by pi degree. So we can write sin alpha as alpha. So for option B this was option A. Okay. So for option B we can say that delta x will be d into alpha and alpha is 0.36 by pi degrees. So you have to convert that into radians which we will get by multiplying by pi by 1 t. So this is d into alpha sin alpha ko mene alpha likh diya hai plus d y by d. d y ki value again uh, d y by d to abhi amne nikala hi tha. So this will not change. This will not change. This is 3300 nanometers. Right. So if you find this pi se pi cancel ho jayega. Ticket d is what? Uh, 0.33 millimeters hai na. 0.3 millimeters hai d. Yes. So 0.3 into the power minus 3. Thik hai. And this is 0.36 by 180. 0.36 by 180. To ya jayega. Uh, 1 upon 5 hota. 1 upon 500. Right. So this will become. Uh, how much? ये 2 से मल्टीप्लाई कर देंगे तो 0.6 हो जाएगा ये 0.6 by 1000 सो so, 6 into 10 to the power minus 7 which means 600 nanometers right so this will become 3900 nanometers which is nothing but 6.5 lambda so you can see it is 6.5 lambda so we can say that again it will be a destructive interference and they are saying destructive interference and hence it is right Okay, option C, 0.36 by pi again, there will be destructive interference at point O. So now we are talking about point O, that means center of the screen. Now it is very easy to see that for uh, like this value, we have already calculated this came out to be 600 nanometers. This was 3300. So Y will be 0 for point O. So delta X will be only 600 nanometers, right? Because uh, this part will become 0. 3300 part will become zero so delta x will be only 600 nanometers and this will be is this is nothing but lambda which means it's a constructive interference constructive interference so th this is again wrong because they are saying destructive last option is fringe spacing depends only on alpha which of course is uh, wrong because fringe, fringe spacing will not depend upon alpha uh, uh, because fringe spacing is lambda d by d it actually depends upon lambda, it depends upon capital D, it depends upon small d, it is independent of alpha. Uh, changing alpha will just shift the whole pattern. So you can say that central maxima will shift in one particular direction um, if you uh, change the values of alpha, but the fringe spacing is not going to change, right? So we can say that it is independent of alpha. And hence you can see only option B was right. So many of the students were, you know, uh, when they did this question, so they were like, you know, uh, because I'm getting only one correct answer and uh, it is a multiple choice question. So be rest assured that if you are confident enough, if you have done like you, you have done appropriately, then it can be a case where you get only one option right. In fact, there were more questions in this paper itself in which there was only one option correct in a multiple choice correct uh, question. So that's it. I hope you would have enjoyed the solution. Thank you.